Hello and welcome Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and I've upgraded my DIY bio pellet reactor. If you remember, I was running a MAG-5 in the sump and I had another MAG-5 mounted externally that I was using for a stir pump which basically provided flow and internal circulation for the bio pellets to keep them suspended. Well, I've gotten rid of all of that. I've gotten rid of all of this extra plumbing inside of the bio pellet reactor that was used for the extra stir and all that. And I'm currently running everything off of my main pump for the entire system. So the main pump runs water off of this tube, and these are the valves that run my protein skimmers and everything else. I've added this valve here, which then allows water to travel into here, and then the water goes down a pipe, and that's what's stirring up the bio pellets. So it's stirring the bio pellets, and it's also providing the flow in for the bio pellet reactor, and then the excess water comes out and down into the sump where it's then sucked in, and a good bit of the water is then gonna end up going to the protein simmer. I do admit that by running it this way, I am recycling some of the water through the bio pellet reactor over and over, but it shouldn't be a big deal. But I think by doing this, I have really simplified the system. Um, one of the problems I was having before was that when I lost power, it was actually had the potential to back siphon and I'd done a lot of work to keep that from happening. But with this system, with all of this plumbing and everything, when I unplug it, there is no back siphon. So no longer do I have to worry about sucking the bio pellets out of the bio pellet reactor and into the system. So I hope you like this episode of Mile High Reefers. If you haven't subscribed, I strongly recommend you do. And I am also posting stuff on Facebook. So if you're interested, follow me there. Thanks for watching. Bye.